In this video, I'm going to show you how to solve the Alex problem called understanding the connection between vapor pressure, boiling point, and also the enthalpy of vaporization. In this problem, you're given three observations and then you're asked to make a prediction about something based on the observation. So let's just start with our first observation. This tells us that we have two substances, E and F, and at 76 degrees, they have different vapor pressures. Let's draw a picture of what we're looking at here. So here's my substance E, it's a liquid, and it has a vapor pressure of 105 torr. That means that it has um, some gases that have evaporated. Vapor pressure is the, the partial pressure of the gases up above the surface of the liquid. And E has a vapor pressure of 105 torr. That's the pressure of the gases. And then our sample F, also a liquid, with a vapor pressure of 75 torr. So that's a lower vapor pressure, which means there aren't as many molecules up above the surface of F. Um, this is definitely, you know, I'm drawing this in a dramatic way. This is this versus this is not 75 versus 105. I'm trying to be dramatic for the picture. So substance E has a higher vapor pressure. And if we have a substance that has a higher vapor pressure, that just simply means that it has a larger number, a greater amount of evaporated molecules. Greater amount of molecules have evaporated. And the reason that E has a greater amount of evaporated molecules is because it's just easier for them to evaporate. They have a really easy time getting up here, here into the gas phase. So this is because the molecules evaporate easily. F, these molecules are having a much harder time evaporating, and the evidence of that is from the lower vapor pressure. So what's our question? Which one has the higher enthalpy of vaporization? The enthalpy of vaporization is referring to the energy that is needed to vaporize, to convert these molecules from a liquid to a gas. So boil it or ev evaporate it or something like that. How much energy is needed to get this conversion to take place? And this wants to know which one has a higher enthalpy of vaporization, which one needs a higher amount of energy for this conversion. And it looks like F is the one that needs the more en most energy because these are the molecules that are having the hardest time getting themselves up into the gas phase. These molecules are jumping right up into the gas phase, so that means they have a really easy time doing it and they don't need a lot of energy. So substance F has the higher enthalpy of vaporization and the higher, um, higher <laughs> vapor pressure corresponds to a higher enthalpy of vaporization. No, lower enth enthalpy of vaporization. Higher vapor pressure corresponds to lower enthalpy of vaporization. High vapor pressure corresponds to low enthalpy of vaporization. Let's look at our next question. For um, the end, it says, now we're switching to C and D. The enthalpy of vaporization of C is smaller than that of D. So let me write this down. The change in enthalpy for substance C is less than the change in enthalpy for substance D. Which one has the higher vapor pressure? High vapor pressure corresponds to low and enthalpy of vaporization. C has the lower enthalpy of vaporization, which means that C is the substance that will have the higher vapor pressure. It's easier for C to evaporate, and so we'll get a greater buildup of gases of molecule C. Our last scenario, we have A and B, and their boiling points, 103 and 113. Which one has the higher enthalpy of vaporization? Um, so let's kind of, let's add boiling point to this relationship here. If a molecule has a low, en low enthalpy of vaporization, this means that it is easy for the molecules 
to either evaporate or boil. Having a low enthalpy of vaporization, having a low enthalpy of vaporization, which uh, means that it doesn't require much energy for these molecules to evaporate or boil. So this means that it's going to have a lower boiling point. It's um, going to be easy for it to evaporate or boil. We're not going to have to get it super hot to get it to evaporate or boil. So a high vapor pressure corresponds to a low enthalpy of vaporization and also corresponds to a low boiling point. Um, so let's take a look over here at our data for boiling point. The boiling point, I'm going to abbreviate that T um, for molecule A, the temperature for molecule A is less than the boiling point temperature for molecule B. Which one has the high enthalpy of vaporization? A high enthalpy of vaporization would correspond to a high boiling point, so that's going to be molecule B.